I hear you ended up delivering all three stone. Thanks to this lump. I sometimes wonder what I pay you for. Speaking of which, I, uh... I, I, I still haven't been paid last month's wages. Oh! So you remember what's owed to you, then? Get your ass behind that disc of yours and don't get up before those ledges are square. <laughs> right away! I've seen that before. You yeah, have, yeah. Plenty of times. It was the only goblet Sid ever used. Either out of habit, or because the filthy sod couldn't be bothered to find a clean one. I knew so little about him. Like most people. Martha and the Dame both seem to have fond memories of him. <laughs> I bet they do. How long did you know Sid before he... Before he died. Twenty summers, give or take. Back in the day, I was a purser on a trade ship. Which is where I met him. He bought passage to... I oh, forget where. But having nothing better to do on the long nights, we set up drinking island rum till the morning bell dragged me back to my duties. Quit my post not long after that. On account of making a fine maiden's belly fat. But me and Sid stayed close. Promising we'd one day sail the seas again. That was... before fate stepped in and said she was having none of it. The magic woke inside my son soon after his first name day, and there was no hiding his neck. Couldn't you and your family have? My family were the ones who summoned the constable, wanted the monster taken away. I couldn't turn my back on him, forget what I felt, and I couldn't for the life of me understand how they could. Luckily, Sid was of the same mind as me. It was him who stood beside me when all I wanted was to tear the whole world down. Him who cried for me when I had no tears left of my own. Him who swore he'd do everything he could to stop it from happening again. And he was true to his word, too. Left the Royal Army once and for all. His ranks, his ribbons, gone. Just like that. Threw away everything he had. All to right a wrong that no one else had the courage to face. I knew then I'd follow that man to the ends of the earth. was always too clever for his own good, was Sid. Saw the world for what it really was, while the rest of us were content to go along with the lie we were shown. And it can't have been easy, bearing that burden alone. But he didn't let it stop him. He never lost faith in what he believed was right. And that gave us faith in him. Faith he'd steer us true. So I swore to myself that I'd always be right behind him, ready to catch the stubborn sod if ever he should fall. But I couldn't even do that. Ignore me, just the ramblings of a tired old man. Leave that lot. I'll tidy it up in a bit. This... This is Sid's handwriting.
Dear Otto. I may be drunk, but I wanted you to know this place would be fucked without you. Love you, you old grumpy old sod. This note. Hmm? What about it? Sid was right. Without you, we all be lost. He should have bloody well said so then. Just once. Before he went. But then, why would he, him, or anyone? I'd only have told him to piss off. You're wrong, though. Both of you. It was never just me keeping the hideaway afloat. It was all of us. I just shoved people in the right direction. I uh, barely seem to be able to do that anymore. <laughs> Would you rather go where the helm? <laughs> well, maybe I've got a few more years left in me. <laughs> I'm going to hold you to that, Otto. Before you go... Sid would have wanted you to have this. But that... This will do me just fine. Thanks. For the ray of sunshine, I'll see if I can't pay you back. Already have. 